Most Americans are very familiar with the Battle of Bunker Hill and make the mistake of assuming that that's indicative of the way that the war was fought in general, with British troops forming in lines and launching frontal attacks against prepared defensive positions. It does not happen again like it did at Bunker Hill for the rest of the war, although the Americans try to manufacture uh, episodes where they hope to, to reprise the events of Bunker Hill, the British don't do that again, with the arguable exception of here at Great Bridge, although the terrain there largely dictated the course of action available to the British. And in the past and in the future, bayonet charges by trained elite British troops, and these are grenadiers at the Battle of Great Bridge, this is the best that the British Army has to offer against raw and untrained militia troops, oftentimes those tactics did in fact work. Nothing put the fear of God into untrained troops of this era more than the glint of steel from British bayonets massing to charge a position. Certainly the Grenadiers at the Battle of Great Bridge would have presented an awesome spectacle to the American defenders. Unfortunately for the British, those Grenadiers had to cover too much terrain, 150 yards of open ground over a very narrow causeway the entire time under a withering fire from the Culpeper Minutemen, who in fact were paragons of this American archetype of a marksman, expert marksman, citizen soldier, who is able to use his long rifle with great skill fighting from a covered and uh, if not concealed position. 